Prince William and Kate Middleton apparently have a move on their minds. It's nothing as drastic as the move Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made in 2020, but it's a surprise nonetheless. Keep watching for the details. Prince William and Kate Middleton first started living together when they were at university. Well, kind of. The two were in the same residence hall, and it's there that the two became friends. Hello Magazine notes they first lived together as a couple in Anglesey, an island in northwestern Wales, while Prince William trained for the Royal Air Force. They stayed in a rented four-bedroom farmhouse that had its own private beach until 2013, when Prince William's tour of duty ended. Now, the couple has two houses, one in the city and one in the country. Their city place is Apartment 1A at London's Kensington Palace. It's where Princess Margaret, Queen Elizabeth II's sister, once lived. It's got four stories and 21 rooms, so it's very large for an apartment. The country house is Anmer Hall, which the Queen gifted them when they got married. The 18th century house is on the Queen Sandringham estate in Norfolk. According to People, it's where Kate feels most at home. Even so, apparently the family of five is looking to make a move that would put them closer to Queen Elizabeth, but still close enough to London for work. People reports that Queen Elizabeth is expected to continue living at Windsor Castle, just outside London, where she has stayed throughout the pandemic. Adelaide Cottage, where Prince William and Kate Middleton wish to move this summer, according to The Sun, is just a 10-minute walk from Windsor Castle. The couple has reportedly looked into schools for their three kids in Windsor. A move to Windsor would not only bring them closer to William's grandmother, but also to Kate's parents, according to the Daily Mail. The Sun adds that some have said that the move to Windsor is to stop the disgraced Prince Andrew from spending too much time with his mother, the Queen. Adelaide Cottage had apparently previously been offered to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle when the couple got married, according to Vogue. Built in 1831 and named for Queen Adelaide, the cottage also has a bit of a scandalous history. The Sun notes that Adelaide Cottage belonged to group Captain Peter Townsend and his family from 1944 to 1952. Notoriously known as Princess Margaret's lover, Townsend got to know the future queen and her younger sister on their weekly visits to his home. It all began when the Townsend family hosted a christening for their second son Hugo. King George VI, who was named Hugo's godfather, and the rest of his family were invited to the event. The Daily Mail quoted a newspaper from the time, it was the first of many Sunday visits. Princess Margaret played with the children on the lawn, and Peter Townsend, off-duty, sat back in a deck chair. Although Princess Margaret was only 13 years old at the time, these weekly visits most likely set the stage for the princess's future affair with Townsend. Townsend was the one who often dropped Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret off at home after their visits, and Margaret reportedly had a crush on Townsend at the time. According to a biography by Colin Brown, Ma'am Darling, 99 Glimpses of Princess Margaret, Margaret and Townsend began seeing each other when Margaret was only 17. In the 1940s, Adelaide Cottage was not the coveted, alluring home that it is today. When the Townsends were living in this royal residence, the cottage was described as pokey and unattractive. As pointed out by the Daily Mail, the cottage was dark, poorly lit, adorned with Victorian and wallpaper, and had clunky furniture. To top that off, the cottage shared its electricity with the distant Windsor Castle, meaning that there was barely enough to power even a vacuum cleaner. Unsurprisingly, Adelaide Cottage has undergone many transformations over the years. Town & Country reports that one of the most recent renovations occurred in 2015. According to the Daily Mail, the main bedroom features gold lacquered dolphins on the ceiling, as well as a decorative rope that was taken from a royal yacht used in the 19th century. Another elaborate feature, a Greco-Egyptian fireplace carved from marble. Sounds like Adelaide Cottage is fit for a king, or at least the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, along with their three little ones. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who were originally meant to move into the cottage, also appreciated the cottage's seven gated exits and entrances, which allowed for privacy. While Harry and Meghan currently live in California, their family may be looking to move again in 2022. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the British royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.